Hello, my name is Chao Tayana Maina. I am the founder and director of African Digital Heritage, uh, which is an organization that works primarily to understand how technology is shaping access to preservation, dissemination, and archiving of African heritage. Skills for Culture came about to enable cultural institutions, community organizations, to have certain core skills um, to underpin future digitization projects. Now, some of these skills include like fundraising, knowing how to raise money and to sustain your, your institution, strategic partnerships, knowing how to partner with different institutions, community engagement, partnering with um, government and public institutions such as uh, counties, and finally, understanding of copyright and traditional knowledge and intellectual property. All these things revolve around how can we make digital work sustainable, how can we make it beneficial, and how can we make it worth it for the institutions and the audiences they seek to target. There'll always be a need for collaboration. Whether you are the money guys who are giving out the money guy, you still need guys to give this money to. You know, nobody can work in a vacuum. As a lawyer and a drafter, I will sit down and draft for you something legal, but you as a practitioner, you have a different experience. So I need to, to hear from you to be able to provide for you adequately. Yeah? And that's one of the challenges we have had even with the copyright law. You put out something for public participation, nobody responds. But the day it passes, you hear people complain. Exactly. What is this you put in this act? They're like, eh, I needed you to say something. This has perhaps been our most exciting phase of Skills for Culture because we're currently on phase three. What's been different about uh, this particular phase is that we have worked with uh, grassroots and community organizations from all across Kenya. We have participants from Kisumu, from Makweni, from Nairobi, from Samburu, from Malindi, um, and other parts of the country that are looking at culture through different ways. So the diversity has been great, not just for the participants to learn from the experts, but to learn from each other as well. This training is as a result of a research that Africa Digital Heritage did. This is very good because these are the things we are struggling with as cultural practitioners. These are the challenges we are facing. We hope this training will build into other trainings in future where we can even learn more because culture is broad but we have begun the journey and we are very grateful. This training has given me so much from the initial baseline interviews, learning what all the participants are doing, to the experts afterwards. I think every session has given me 10 new, new opportunities to explore and it especially really made me sensitive about the situation in Kenya and what needs to be done and how I can assist to this further goal. I'm thankful, I'm grateful and I'm really excited to continue the work. Well, um, my take home is that documentation is one of the missing links between life and death of a culture. As I say, in very simple terms, a man dies twice. One, when he literally dies, and the second time, when the last person says their name. Same thing applies to culture, according to me. Culture dies when the last person talks about it. And in documenting this culture, uh, we give it a perpetual lifetime and culture gets to live on and on again. Putting content on a toolkit that people will download is very different as compared to having like the target audience and the same practitioners who featured in the toolkit sit together and share these ideas. It was an amazing experience to just sit within their presence and see them take on this knowledge and even um, see them getting ideas on how to pivot their strategies and implement amazing programs. So I hope to see where this in-person interaction will lead them and the impact that it will have on their programs. It's been an incredible past three days uh, of knowledge exchange, of sharing, uh, of getting to know more about what it takes to do cultural heritage work across this country. Our hope uh, is that the participants take the lessons learned, particularly from these training programs, and are able to implement them, one, to sustain uh, digital projects, 
but also that these the lessons learned here have a significant impact on the audiences that they reach and on other organizations that they may collaborate and partner with as well. It's such an amazing opportunity because we kind of came together as groups from different cultural organizations that are trying to conserve uh, different sorts of um, you know, expressions and our cultural heritage. And one thing that stands out for me is how to use technology to do the work of conserving our heritage and culture. I have learned that we can do public-private partnership. We can synergize together. We can complement each other's efforts. Once the communities are brought on board and they know the importance of uh, the projects, then it does not have to necessarily involve funds. It can even be them offering their services, for example, uh, being the guardians of uh, those programs, and also other services like maybe labor. 